Cameo Out of the Box comes with several different samples which are available. We'll be looking at the Blackjack example today. And if you didn't know where that's saved, you just go to where you downloaded Cameo to, and then Samples, and then Simulation, and then you'll see the Blackjack example. So this is what we have. We're going to be able to run this in Simulation. So it is running in Simulation, and then what we can do is we can click on this link here, and then Embedded Browser, and after a couple of seconds, it will load the Blackjack table. And then you can run um, Blackjack as, as you please. So we'll take a hit here, take another hit, and we got 21, so we'll stand. And then the, we won that round. So then you can start a new game. And we got 21 again, so we'll stand. Start a new game. I'll stand at 16, and we lost that round. So this shows how the example works, and we'll kind of get into the details as we move forward. So I'll exit out of the example, and we'll just begin the walkthrough. So we have the structural aspects of the model that you're seeing here. There's 52 cards, and we have these signals. I think it's easier to probably look at the, the uh, master state machine diagram that you're seeing here. So we have one state called play, and then several different substates within that. Each of these states have an entry action, which are going to be specific activities, which have logic associated with them. And that's essentially what we're looking through here. As we click Next, we're looking through all the different activities, which are allocated to the entry of different states. So here is the execution config. It's showing you how it switches the images for the cards. So, and then you have your card value, and then we have our GUI right here. So then the next, we'll go to the game table, and this looks fairly familiar. I'll show you how to change up the settings so that you can kind of evaluate what's happening. So we're gonna find that execution config, and then we're going to change this silent from true to false. What that's going to do for us is when we go ahead and run the configuration, run blackjack, I push run up here, it's actually going to show me what's going on in the background. So uh, again, I'll open that in the embedded browser, give it a couple of seconds to load. So we'll take a hit here. And we got 21, so we'll stand. And then it tells me that we won. So we'll play a new game, which will reset. And so now we want to decide if we want to have a player hit or a player stand. Those are the two options down here, hit and stand. At 20, we're definitely going to stand. And then we evaluated the score. We, the dealer ended up winning because he got 20 as well. And so now what we can do is we can look at specific activities within here as we play the game. So if we want to start a new game, so right now it is the player is drawing the card. It's working on the logic for that. And it's the first card, so that's why it goes here. There we go. So now it's going to get you the second card. And it, you can see it added to the GUI here. Now it's going to pause because it's waiting for me, the user, to either click hit or stand. And we'll just click stand. And then basically this activity was no longer used because it was player, call player draws card. Call player draws card. So this activity is, is used in two different locations because activities are elements of definition, they are reusable. Looking at the next one called Dealer Draws Card, you can see it's gonna look very similar to the other behavior that we just looked at. So we'll start a new game. So what we're seeing right here is the dealer getting his card. There we go. 
So it's not showing you the logic for the player getting his or her card, but it's showing you just the logic of the dealer getting his or her card. So if we stand as the user, it's what's going to happen is it's going to pull out more cards for the dealer, and we will see that in this activity. So the dealer's getting a, another card here, and so this one will go to the set dealer card 2. Since we're less than 17, it's going to go again and get a third card. So since it's at 18, which is above 17, it no longer went and got a fourth card because it stops at 17. Now we'll look at the evaluate score. So we'll add a new game here. You can see that it automatically dealt our initial cards. So it's looking for me if I want to hit or if I want to stay. So I'll click stand because 19 is a good number. So the dealer busted and we won. Let's try again. So I will hit, hit again, stand. So we're not seeing it run right now. And so now I'm going to troubleshoot why that is. So it did go through the evaluate score. Let me just try to click back into it. There we go. I think there was a little bit of a, a glitch there on why it didn't show this. But we'll start a new game. And we will have 18 to start with. So I'll stand here. And the dealer busted. So we'll start a new game. Stand. So it's not showing us the example again. So what if I jump into it now and stand? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to to restart ourselves here because it appears that something wonky happened. So now I'm in the evaluate score and I'll stand here and there we go. It's running it's determining who has the higher score and the dealer one, so it sent that score. We'll play it one more time. So we'll stand here, and then it's running, and it appears that the dealer is going to win. So it sends the dealer win signal, which is going to change the state from evaluate score to dealer win. So on the next one, I'll look at this one. So we'll try and make the dealer win new game so we'll stay at 12 the dealer won and you can see that that uh, result came through and the result text of you lose is what ended up coming through the result text and this is exactly the same except for it says you win instead of you lose so here's the reset button as well so we never ran that with our table so we'll go ahead and do that So I'm just going to stand at 13. I lost. And so when I click New Game, it will show me what happens here. So it's going ahead and resetting all of the player cards and all of the dealer cards. So when we get down here, it will take these cards out. There we go.
and then it plays you a new round. One more thing to note, if we go to this extent of the blackjack game page, then you can see all of your images together and what numbers would be associated with each of the columns. So jack, queen, king, and 10 all have the value of 10 in blackjack. So also, if we look at the structure, we see card value of 0 through 52. And what's going on is we have 1 through 13, and then 14 through 26, etc., until we get to 52. So we're counting just all the way up from 1 to 52 here.